Hey everybody, we have had a lot of requests to have a, an explanation of exactly how our aquaponic system works. And to give you an idea, this greenhouse does not house any fish. It is a building right next door with underground plumbing that runs through here. So the fish in the adjacent building, that water from the fish flows through here. It flows through these tanks, or these beds rather, up here, and gravity fed back down to these, and then back outside. And how that works is the fish produce the ammonia, which gets turned into nitrates and nitrites, and um, produces the fertilizer that's needed for the plants. We also add a little bit of nutrient, some iron and uh, calcium, magnesium, all organic to this. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually need it yet because without it, the food is extremely tasty and grows very well. Uh, we just wanted to be a little safe rather than sorry. And it, when you can see, what happens is there, there's absolutely no dirt. All of these roots are growing in the water and they get exactly what they need. It is a fantastic process that makes the food grow faster, healthier, and we get to harvest it on a more regular and consistent basis than you do outside in uncontrolled elements such as the heat, the cold, uh, dirt. Uh, you are more prone to have different bugs and insects infiltrate your fields. Uh, we have a better ability to control that in here. And that's a, uh, a quick and basic example of how our aquaponics works. And to give you an example of the size, each one of these rows is about uh, almost 1,600 plants. So that's 1,600, 1,600, 1,600, and so on. And on these 20 raised beds, they are uh, closed holes. So every two by two section, is 50 holes and if you can if my sister can pan over and you can see where we started to fill these up they are uh, different types of onions and uh, basil that doesn't spread out very much and so we're able to put 8,000 plants on these 20 beds so that's a basic overview for all the requests that we've had uh, recently on how our system actually works. So just to recap, the fish are in the adjacent building, the water from the fish flows through here, gravity fed through here, gravity fed to the sumps in the back, and it just makes a continuous loop for our own ecosystem that we created. And that'll be the same process for the additional four greenhouses in the back. And as always, we share our knowledge with you. Please share yours with us. I'm Farmer Kevin, see you next time.